Dixie Massaro at Irvine Valley College. I'll be showing you today Case Problem 2 of Tutorial 6. We begin by opening a file called Carson. You'll find this file in your Case 2 Tutorial 6 folder. You begin by placing your name in the documentation sheet and typing in today's date. Once you've done that, we're going to do a file save as. We're going to save this file in the current folder, the Case 2 folder, and we're going to call it UTE Carson City. And I don't like to use spaces in my file name, so I'm going to type the words all together, and I'll press Enter. Now I've already done this, and that's why this is coming up, but in your case, this would be your first time saving it, so you shouldn't see this confirmation box. Now let's take a look at quarter one. In quarter one, we have information about sales for Carson City. We have nearly identical information in quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four. So the first thing that we want to do is to group quarter one through quarter four. And we're going to do that by clicking on quarter one, holding down shift while we click on quarter four. That groups the four sheets together. If you look up at your title bar, you'll notice that it does state here that the sheets are grouped. You need to be careful because when you have grouped sheets, whatever you do to one goes through all of them. In our case, that's a good idea because we want to place totals in row 10. So I'm going to highlight columns B through G in row 10, and I'm going to click my Sum button to automatically add those four columns up. That, of course, is also working in quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four. Let me return back to quarter one, and we're going to do a little bit of formatting. We're going to merge and center the items in B4 through C4. So I highlight those two cells and I click my Merge and Center button. Similarly, we will do the same thing in D and E and in F and G. They want row 5, all of the headings, just to be centered. So I'll use the Center feature in the Alignment group to do that. Now that we've done that, let's ungroup. You can ungroup by right-clicking on one of the sheet tabs and choosing Ungroup Sheets. Moving on to number four, they want us to insert a new worksheet between documentation, let me scroll over so you can see it, and quarter. But I'm going to advise that the best way to do this is to simply make a copy of quarter one. So I'm going to right-click on quarter one and choose Move or Copy. I want to place this new sheet before the quarter one sheet, and you've got to be sure to click the Create a Copy. When you click OK, it places the new sheet, which is a copy of quarter one, in between documentation and quarter one. But we want to change the name, and we're going to call that Summary. Next, what we want to do is to write formulas that are going to correspond or add up the four quarters. But first, we need to get rid of the numbers that are here. So in the summary sheet, highlight rows 6 through 9 in columns B through G and delete all of the numbers that were typed there because remember those were the quarter 1 figures. We're going to use this to summarize quarters 1 through 4. In step 5, we're asked to enter formulas that will add the sales in the corresponding cells of the four quarterly worksheets. So for example, here, in cell B6, we want to add the cells in quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four that are found in cell B6 so that we can sum them. The way we'll do that is with an equal sum and open your parentheses. A quick way to insert the sheet range is to click on quarter one and shift click on quarter four you can see in the formula window that this formula is being built for us. And then click on B6. Now I know it's confusing here because you can see that you're in quarter one. It really doesn't matter. Just click cell B6 and pay attention to the formula you're building. Then press Enter 
and that will return you to the summary sheet, in which case the formula will return the answer 245. You can use your fill handle to fill to the right, and double clicking the fill handle will fill down. In step 6, we're asked to prepare the summary and the four quarterly sheets for printing. So, what you'll want to do is to group them. Again, we'll click on the first sheet, Summary, and we'll shift-click on Quarter 4. I'm going to go to Page Layout, and here I can click the More button, which will bring the Page Setup dialog box. If you view the Margins tab, you can center the page horizontally. That was required in Step 6. In addition, if you click the Header and Footer tab, you can create a custom header and a custom footer. So we're going to create a custom header, and what they want us to do here is in the center, they want us to center the worksheet name in the header, which I've done here. I'll take it out and do it again. The worksheet name is the Sheet tab name, and so if you click this button, it inserts that code. They want our name and the current date on separate lines in the footer. So let's click OK, and you can see that the sheet tab name is showing in the center section of our header. Let's go to Custom Footer. Now again, I've already done this, but you'll type your name, press Enter, and then to insert this date code, I'll take it out so you can see, you click the Insert Date button. Click OK, and again you can see a preview of it. And from here you can print preview and see that you should have five pages, each with the sheet tab name, your name, and the current date. As we scroll to the next sheet, you'll see that this is quarter one, quarter two, etc. I'm going to return to my worksheet and save it. Control S is a shortcut for saving, and then we're going to close this file. In Step 8, we are to repeat this process for the Reno workbook, calling it the UTE Reno. And so let's do a file open, our Case 2 folder. We're going to open Reno, and then we're going to save this as UTE Reno. So you'll do a file Save As. We'll save it in the current folder, and we'll call it UTE Reno. Now I've already done this, you can see it right here, but when I, so when I click Save, it's going to ask me if it can replace that one. You should not see that dialog box. In Step 8, we're told to repeat steps 2 through 7 for this workbook. And so you can review the video if you need to, to go back, and this is where you're going to be putting a total and some formatting in each quarter, adding a summary worksheet in which you summarize the data from quarters 1 through 4. Step 9 essentially does the exact same thing. In Step 9, you open the Vegas file right here, and you save it as UTE Vegas, which you can see I've done, and again you follow steps two through seven in your textbook to modify this file so that it looks almost identical to your UTE Carson City. You can stop the video and review those steps if you need to. I'm going